Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week I want to talk about changing the progressions in your songs. If you're stuck with the same patterns over and over again, there's an easy way to break out of that cycle. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Alright, so let's say that your pattern is 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4. You can obviously do different variations of that, so you could do like... But the trick for changing the feel of what you're doing is changing the root note that you're using to express that pattern. So, st again, starting with this particular note, we can count how many notes we're striking in that phrase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight strikes to work with. So let's divide that up a little bit differently. We could do... That's seven two two seven two two six two two six two two five two two five two two four two two four two two. Now, in this particular example, I'm keeping the same root, but I'm altering the note that's being played in relation to that. And that gives you a little bit more flavor than. change what the note is in relation to that chord, we can do this. So changing the initial note can completely transform the progression that you're using. So on again, on the B chord, I'm using two, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, one, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, two, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four. The reason this sounds different and interesting is we're changing what the note is in relation to the melody. So it's the same as if you're playing with the center note and then you switch to another note, but you maintain the melody. That allows you to create a bit more dynamics in your playing, but still maintaining the same rhythm and still maintaining the same progression and melody. So again, we can transform this to... So one of the secrets for getting unstuck if you're using a pattern all over and over again and you're kind of bored with it, is to alter the first note. Keep the progression that you're using, but change the first note every time and then move up that progression. So if the progression is two, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, I can obviously express those notes in a different way, but we have eight strikes to work with. So we're just gonna change the first one and we'll hear the difference. So this is with the two as the root. Three. This is particularly noticeable on the B chord, because the B chord has a really nice chord progression. Um, so changing between the three, two, and one gives you a lot of movement. Most of the ravs have the most chordal movement in the bottom half, and the top half is great for the melodic part. As I've talked about in other videos, you can add a melody on top of that, and that's gonna create more tension. All right, my friends, I hope you found that tip useful. Uh, if you liked this style of video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more content, more performances, and a lot of great ways to get started on these amazing instruments. If you're interested in private lessons, feel free to get in touch with me. I offer group and individual lessons through Zoom at the moment, and also in person when all of this is done. Hope you guys are well, and I'll talk to you soon.